So this is one of the flow panels that we use for measuring the amount of cooling water that's going to a particular girder because all the electromagnets generate heat whilst the electric current's flowing around them and so they all need to be water cooled. There are also various parts of the vacuum vessel that have absorbers in to, uh, to dump the waste light into. The, the light that's not actually used in the experiment still has to go somewhere and so we have various copper absorbers around the place which have to be water cooled. These are quite useful because it gives you a visual indication of whether you've got flow or not during the times that you can actually get in here. So it's quite handy for doing the commissioning because we have these, these orange floats here have very specific weights and the, the water flow is flowing from bottom to top through this tube that has a slowly increasing diameter. And so the height at which the float is floating gives you an indication of the amount of water you've got flowing through there. So you can see a graduation up the top here. And then there's, each of these floats has a magnet in it. And there's a sensor at the back here that can tell if the float falls down too low and the water's too low, it'll switch the electron beam off so that things don't go, get overheated. So here we are at the point where the electrons actually come into the storage room. On the other side of this concrete wall, there is actually a smaller accelerator which ramps the energy of the electrons up from 100 MeV to the three giga electron volts, which they have energy they achieve when they go around the storage ring. So this vacuum vessel here contains the electrons as they enter the storage ring. And you can follow it a bit like the trains, the tracks of a railway. As much as it's coming in at a, at a tangent, bends slightly through a dipole magnet here to bring it onto the correct trajectory where it joins the main beam. So this is a magnet here which acts a bit like the uh, points on a railway track in that you have the new electrons coming in here to top up the storage ring and the ones that are already orbiting the storage ring are coming in on this second line here. So this is the point where the new beam with the new electrons joins the old existing beam. 